Hello, hello guys, and welcome to the second part of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. So, um, I am re-recording this, because I had recorded like seven episodes or parts for this LP, but, um, you know, they, they didn't really look or sounded like I, like I wanted to, so I decided to start over, right? So, you gotta think, you gotta do things the way you want them to be. Alright, so if they don't, uh, if they are not the way you want them to, try again. Alright, keep trying until uh, until you make it. Alright, so now we're here at this reactor. Um, we're gonna keep moving forward and see what we have to do now. Let's see what Barrett wants us to do. Okay, so what is this on the ground? Restore materia. Okay, so the green materia is magic materia. So it has um, the different kind of spells you're gonna see during the game, like uh, all magic spells from this Final Fantasy franchise, uh, like restore or cure, uh, heal. Uh, poison, uh, fire, ice, you know, all of those spells um, that the mages can um, cast. Now in this game, anyone can do it because they're going to use materia. And we're going to put the materia on the slots, on the armor and the weapons. Alright, so we're going we're gonna to look more in detail, more into that later on. Alright? For now, let's just remember that the green materia uh, is magical materia, right, for casting spells. So let's keep going. When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Right now, uh, I'm trying to do my best with a uh, very tall and big African American guy. <laughs> so don't judge me, guys. I'm trying my best. Cloud, set the bomb! Shouldn't you do it? Just do it, man! I gotta watch out! Uh, to make sure you don't pull nothing! Fine, I'll do it. What's going on? Watch out. This isn't just a reactor. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry up, man! Yeah, sorry. Oh... Okay, I hear an alarm. Heads up! Here it comes! Who comes? Oh, it's boss time. All right. So, um, we're going to use Bolt. And uh, with Barrett, we're going to use her physical attacks, okay? Now, Barrett, um, he has a gun right on his arm. So, he actually can attack... Um, you know, without going into melee range. Uh, so if you're not in the melee range, uh, what we can do is that we can move you to the back row, alright? Because moving you to the back row, um, if we move Barrett to the back row, it means that he will take half the physical damage he would take if he was in the first row. So let's say all of your mages, uh, or the characters you're going to use mostly as ranged attackers, or... Um, oh, okay. So, just see, whenever... Like he's saying, when the tail is up, we're not supposed to attack. Because otherwise, uh, it's going to counter-attack us, like just now. Because I gave the order to attack before he did this, now... It wasn't that bad, it didn't hurt that bad, but... 
But the idea is not to keep doing this. So let's just defend. We'll try and heal a little, alright? If you really think you should heal. But this is a very easy fight, you know? First boss fight. Um, part of the tutorial, I would say. Man, I hope the recording for this video works better, because last time, um, you know, although I lowered the volume for the music and the sound effect, um, I could barely hear my voice in the video, so I could not upload that second part. I had to re-record it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and attack. Now, limit breaks... Um, you actually get the limit break when that gauge that says limit, that pinkish uh, limit uh, bar is full. Like you see now, I just used the limit and now it's empty again. So every time you get hit uh, in a fight, you gain a little bit of your gauge, uh, or your limit gauge. So let's attack with Cloud, alright? Because Bolt is a very good attack against robots like this guy. I just don't want to give the order to attack just yet, because I don't know if he's going to raise his uh, tail. Yeah, you see, it was better to hold off a little bit. So once again, let's just wait. Cloud is fine, so I'm going to use a potion to heal Barret. Ah, uh, so yes. Um, and guys, I really apologize in advance, you know, I if I sound a little different than on my uh, Chrono Trigger LP, it's because I have been very sick lately. You know, so this flu um, has me struggling right now. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm home today and the day after, so I'm not going to go to work for a couple days. And I'm um, hoping that I feel better, but I uh, just didn't want to stay home not doing anything at all. You know, I wanted to record at least a video. Uh, hopefully you can hear me and my voice is going to be understandable. Alright, come on guys, it's time to finish this. It's been a while now. Alright, so let's one more attack with Cloud. Let's see if let's see what the monster's gonna do. There we go. Okay, so we won our, our, our we won our first battle here against the boss in the game. Okay, we got an assault gun. I wonder if that's a better weapon for Barrett. Might be. We'll check it out later on, because right now we gotta we gotta get out of here. Actually, have to run out of here. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, let's go. We gotta hurry. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Is that enough time, guys? I don't remember. It's been a while since I played uh, this game. Oh jeez, and I just came back to where I came from. All right, so we gotta run. All right, we gotta run. I'm not gonna save there. I am just going to keep going, alright? And uh, so the enemies here are just the soldiers and the kind of dog panther thing uh, and this kind of robot, right? So I'm going to show you just this one, uh, this battle, and then I don't think there's any new enemies, so I'm going to start just editing out some repeated encounters so you don't get bored with so many battles. Yeah, I mean, um, here, the encounter rate can be a little ridiculous sometimes. As opposed to Chrono Trigger, where you you know what the monsters are, and they're a fixed set of fights to do from one area to the next. So, but here, not really. Okay, so I'll show you the Braver, which is the uh, limit level 1 for Cloud. 
Boom. There you go. That was pretty nice. You know, to be the to be the first one, it's it's cool. Nothing too fancy, but eh, you know, it's the it's just the first one. Okay. So now, bear in mind that the the clock keeps uh, keeps going even even if you are um, fighting a battle. So as you see, it has not stopped at all. So what's wrong with you there, huh? What's up, Jesse? Are you all right? My leg got stuck. Okay. All right, thanks. Okay, let's move, girl. Gotta get out of here. Okay, okay, okay. Seven minutes. Um, well, a little bit more than seven minutes. Like seven and a half almost. Okay, so we go down up here. The stairs. So I'm guessing it's the same way we came in. Alright, so seven minutes and counting. No, what did I do? Get out of here, guys. Get out of here. Code deciphered. Okay. Okay, okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, no. Wow, what explosion! What an explosion, guys! Look at that! So, are we some kind of terrorists? Like, sabotaging something somewhere, somehow, for some reason? That should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Okay, so we're supposed to be doing this for the planet. Okay. Alright, now everyone get back. Whoa, another explosion. Okay, let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Hey. If it's about your money, wait till we get back. Okay, relax, man. It was about my money, but well, you know. I need it. You know, I, got, I got bills to pay. gonna happen here <laughs> okay sorry I am back now I had a little real-life interruption <laughs> all right so oh the foul girl from the um, opening scene what happened um what should I say guys what should I say should I I'm gonna go here. Hey, nothing. Mm, you don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only one gill. I'll buy one. Why not? Oh, thank you. Here you are.
Okay, so we bought a flower from the girl. There isn't really, there is not really much to do in the screen. Now we just gotta keep going, I guess. Get out of here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> they all ignored me. Hey, you. Just what the hell's going on? I don't know. Right, I got a potion here in the ground. Hey. I wonder what that what that is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet. Avalanche. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. So, am I working for a, a rogue group of people? Um, like defending the planet from some corporate power? Is that it? Hey, you there! Oh no, I have been spotted. Let's run away, guys. We fought enough for this um, second part. Later! Uh oh oh no I am completely surrounded I don't have time to mess with you guys enough babbling there we go oh god <laughs> that was nice just imagine watching this cutscene back in 1998 <laughs> that was really mind blowing back then. Cloud never came. You think he was killed? No way. Cloud. Say, um. Do you think Cloud's going to stay and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Shit. Hmm. If y'all wearing such screw ups. Hey Barrett. What about our money? Okay. Forget I didn't forget I said anything, man. Whoa, Cloud! Looks like I am a little late. You damn right! You're late! Come waltzing in here, making a big scene! It's no big scene, it's just what I always do. She! Having everyone worried like that? You don't give a damn about knowing about yourself. Hmm. So you were worried about me? What? That's coming out of your share. Hot shot. Wake up. We're moving. Follow me. Hey Cloud, you were great back there. Thank you, buddy. Hey, hey, Cloud. We'll do even better next time. We sure will. Careful, I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. There you go. Thank you, Jesse. You're very kind. Say, thanks for helping me back at uh, back there at the reactor. You're welcome. You know, I was not going to let you there with your leg stuck in that piece of metal. 
you would have blown up in pieces. Okay, so we're in the train now. Last train out of Sector 8 Station. Last stop is Sector 7, Train Graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgar Standard Time. <laughs> Midgar Standard Time. <laughs> there you go, Barrett. You own the place. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. Huh? This is my house. So make yourselves at home. <laughs> Thank you. Very kind. You see the headlines in the Shimra Times? The terrorists that boomed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor. They should put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Hey Cloud, want to look at this with me? It's a map of Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together, I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff, bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. I can tell. Right, so okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgard. It's about a 1 to 10,000 scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above the ground. A main pillar supports a plate in the center, and there are other support pillars that are built in each section. Number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. That's very sad. Instead of names, we refer them to we refer to them uh, by the number of sectors. That's how things turned out. Phew! Look, look what's next, look. This is the route this train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and the backgrounds of each passenger on the train. And it is linked up to the central data. Uh, Central Data Bank at Shinra Headquarters. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Speak of the devil. That line means that we're in the ID security check area. You never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now. What a relief. Alright, so what are we going to do next? I'm seeing stars, this sucks, I had the dark. <laughs> He's sleeping. I know, next time, I'll make one just for you. Looking forward to it. Okay, then I'll put a little extra effort in making it with a bang. <laughs> okay, thank you Jesse. You say so. Look, you can see this. Oh, this is Barrett. Look, you can't see the surface now. This city don't have no day or night. If that plate weren't there, we could see the sky. He 
the floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You just fool us surprises, huh? The upper world, the city on the plate. It's cause of that piece of shit pizza. The people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, that reactor keeps draining up all the energy. Right, then why doesn't everyone move on to the plate? I don't know. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe. Because they love the land, no matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. Wow. That was kind of deep, guys, wasn't it? So, you know, whoever tells you or tells me that video games don't video games don't make you think, you know, and feel very good emotions and very important are a bunch of liars, guys. Don't listen to them. All right, so we um, got off the train now. Yo, get over here, all of ya. What you want, man? This mission was a success. Don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion? Cause the next one's gonna be bigger than that. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. Okay, so we're gonna move. We're gonna go back to the hideout, wherever that is. So what are you guys doing? Are you chatting? I'm not letting you go tonight. Go where? Wow. Isn't there somewhere we could go to be alone? There's only the train graveyard around here. And they say there's ghosts around too. Damn. What? <laughs> that was a weird conversation. When you've been a train man as long as I have, you see a lot of people and a lot of lives. People meeting, parting, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get you anymore. Wow. More philosophic quotes, guys. Not bad for a Tuesday morning, huh? Okay, so let's keep going. Let's follow the guys. Okay, very well, so we're back at the town here at the hideout for Avalanche. Um, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, you know, I want to thank you again for um, staying with me, looking at the videos. I really appreciate all your comments and your likes. And, um, you know, feel free to send me a message. Um, you know, this channel is to have fun and, you know, make new friends. So feel free to do that. So please join me to find more information about what are we going to do next, what's our next mission. Um, you know, I, I think it was pretty clear we're going to go for all of the reactors. But will we, be able, will we be able to blow them all up? We'll find out. And hopefully in the next video, I will not be sick. <laughs> so I'll see you next time, guys. This was Lanru. Take care and keep gaming. Bye-bye.